it seems like the rain stopped for a while anyway I think we're getting some rain back on Saturday you want to come outside? it makes sense let me get the pops out good morning my boy hi boy Good morning, my sweet boy. Hi. Do I have the entire clan here? Hi, Mocha. Hi, twins. You guys are almost there. Hi. You're so pretty. Let me see your children. Oh, they all want to nurse. What a shopper. Are you ready to come out? Okay, let me give you some feed. Hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys are so dramatic. Get down there. I'll come on to them. Hold on. 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 Hold what I've been doing is just refilling the bag twice a day. And for some, it's like a pain in the neck. But to be honest, if you see here, they break these bags like nothing. And I'm sure these are the twins because it didn't used to happen before they were born. But um, because of that, I feel like there's so much waste. And this is just regular grass hay nothing fancy but there's no need to waste it so I know this will last them this and the other feeder in the pan will last them the entire day and so when I come at night you know it's good it's gonna be empty and uh, they'll have plenty to eat with this what's inside the, the stall and foraging because it's a beautiful day and they have lots of things they can eat outside so there's no need to waste any feed good morning clara oh what is your little girl doing on the feeder get out of there girly come on get out get out girly get out of there get out of there my sweet sweet girl my sweet sweet girl Look at my sweet, sweet girl. Can you see her? They're so cute, mama. I love you so much. Ay, 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 Clara. Yes, I love you too. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, children. It is time so I can clean this pen. Hi, Mr. Cow. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. I know, go find your mama. Like, Mom, where are you? What I'm doing is that every morning after I let them out, I clean their pen a bit because I am locking them up at night with Clara and their four babies and they have good pee all night so because of that I do have to kind of keep it clean every day just by taking the top layer and I do this before I let the other goats out because they won't let me do this they'll be on top of me coming in and out and then once I'm done taking this out I'll let them in I'll lock the door and I'll let them in now Clara has a little bit more alfalfa every day because you know she is feeding the kids so she does need it but because of that I only keep it in the pen so that's why I always always wonder you know how people do it without having stalls for them at night. I mean, I guess 
it works for other people, <laughs> but for me, um, it makes it easier so I don't have to put her on the stand to eat extra. I just give her the extras at night and that way she can eat, take her time, I don't have to hurry, make her hurry and at the same time it really helps me to know that she's eating and whatever she needs extra for feeding those kids and I'm not overfeeding the other ones that are really not in milk. This, you see, I put that up yesterday and she still has a lot, so it will probably last her a couple more nights. What is that, Mr. What is it, my love? Aren't you the cutest little chapster? Aren't you the cutest little chapster? Hi. Hi, Mr. White. Hi. Hi, Mr. White. Are you cute? Let me play. Let me give you a little. Belly rub. Mr. Cow. Come here. Come here. You need love? Come here. Come here, Mr. Cow. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. Come on. Oh. Goodness gracious. Come on. Come here, my boy. Come here. Come here. I don't want you crying. Come here. Come here, sweet boy. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Go find your mama, little sweet girl. Go find your mama. Hi, Mr. White. Did you come back for love? Hi, my love. I'm a baby. You guys are so You love it on your sissy. That's so sweet. Nice. You left out. Okay, you can come out. I'm sorry, okay? I have to do that. And what they really want to come out for is to go to Clara's pen. I'm sorry, that's not possible. This cleaning, it's an everyday cleaning routine. But today, it's gonna be extra special and I wanted to do it um, kind of thick in the pine shavings because we're gonna be out, we're gonna go to town, there's a few things that I need to go get and for that, I need to go towards the beach. So there's going to be more um, places to shop so I'm gonna try to get a few things done while we're there and that means I need extra time. So I'm gonna lock Clara and her babies here while I'm away. Now, is it needed? Not really. But the thing is that it makes me feel a lot better when I'm not here. Now, the little kids are still small enough to go through the squares in our fence. And even though they don't want to, they really um, are able to. I'd rather have them here safe in the pen clean so they're not eating poop or anything like that and with everything that they need and at the same time they are st they're starting to eat with the mom so they're eating hay and it's the cutest thing I haven't been able to catch it on camera but they go and they put their little hooves on 
the bottom here and they uh, start eating so it's perfect so they don't have to go in the other feeder where they're eating all the big goats. So. That girl will never starve. You can see his winter coat in between his hair. I was talking to somebody yesterday in the comments about I'm having, gonna give them a bath and that I plan to um, shave them, all of them. Uh, they have plenty warm in here if it gets cold and I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be too cold maybe you know 34 35 that's all I can see in the forecast so as soon as there's a sunny day in the weekend where I can get extra help from the kids I'm going to at least give them a bath right now and then maybe around May give them another bath and shave them so they can be clean for the summer as you can see like Duke he's hiding his booty but it's he's all dirty it's dirtier than Rocky, which should be the dirtiest. Now, if you remember, Duke was bigger than Rocky, and at this point, uh, Rocky caught up to him in a matter of weeks. And there was like a kind of weird growth on Rocky, which is a good thing. Even though I can't really show him with those curves, um, I, you know, I like what he's producing and his body structure. Took him a bit longer to grow than his brother, the weather, but yeah, just um, the curse is something that is really bothering me at this point. And look at this nasty, nasty boy. What boy? You want me to do something about it? Okay, you can come in the back. Go in the back. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Good boy. See, I got you. I got you, my man. How far I is. See, he's extremely itchy. Don't jump on me because I have to go to town smelling like a boy goat. I'm thinking I'm gonna take them out um, after I shave them and during the summer. I think I'm gonna take them out into this area so they can mow. <laughs> this little area we need to finish their back um, house so I'm thinking I'm gonna take them outside put them in leashes uh, put a tea post or something and keep them close enough so they can see each other but not so close that they can entangle uh, with each other and that way they can eat and some fresh save on some hay and give some extra time for their pan to start growing again. But there's a lot that they can eat. And there's a lot of places where I can tether them. And that's what I'm thinking I will be doing in order to have some room to work in their pen and not have them rubbing against us or trying to get in the way or eating squirrels.